Sandland, the land of sand. <laughs> oh, hi, Chris, back with another fragrance review, and my son is um, kind of playing in the background and uh, wanting me to join him. Uh, and at the same time, there's the St. Pauli Magdeburg game, uh, German second division football on, on the TV. And, uh, but he's happy playing at the moment, my son at least, in, in this thing, where, uh, which is his special playground. And I'm trying to make a, um, another fragrance review. It's all, about, uh, it's all around Christmas time, uh, this time still. Uh, as you can see, the, the tree behind me. I'm just being kind of stiff here because the backlight is you know, ruining uh, your vision of me in, in this particular video. So my fragrance is going to be, it's quite an ad hoc one, but I, I decided to do it because I'm in the mood for this fragrance very much, so, and I wanted to share that with you. So we're talking about the house of Etienne Eigner, who is actually a, a Hungarian-born, uh, who was an, a Hungarian-born um, uh, designer who died in the year 2000 um, and established uh, himself in, in many locations around the world, actually. Uh, but but now the, the headquarters of uh, Eigner is in Munich, uh, in Bavaria, in Germany. And they've released a lot of different type of fragrances throughout the decades, and they're all of fairly good quality and and among those statement is one that I like a lot that's more for the autumn time and the other one for the festive days for special occasions for romantic occasions for elegant uh, occasions or just you know just for you to have a feel good time is Eigner Man 2 that's the fragrance 30 ml or the toilet okay released in 2007 it was 2007 um, so it, it has been a long time since then and it's still around and um, that's a good sign. Uh, the noses behind this fragrance uh, are, or were Rosando uh, Mathieu, uh, or Mathieu and uh, Pierre Vargne. And um, together they have created a blend which is very refined, um, citrusy, sweet, almost gourmand tobacco deliciousness bottled, okay? Um, it achieves this with, with, with um, notes that mostly sound very sweet, although I have to say that this fragrance is not at all overly sweet. And it's, it's because of the, 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 the genius blending that these two have done that this is not a sweet bomb, you know. It's very modern smelling, I have to say. It's very modern smelling. It's not dated or anything like this at all. It totally stands the tests of time and um, the main components, the main notes here are, as I say, they're, they're mostly sweet. So we have um, tonka bean, vanilla, cinnamon, um, tobacco, and a citrus note that is lingering, some cashmere wood. So there's some, 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 some woodiness about it. It's only just barely powdery. Uh, but it's more woody, uh, semi-sweet, tobacco, vanilla, almost edible, but yet not. Um, it's just a perfect combination of all these different type of moods and vibes that come with these notes. So the vanilla gives the best part of itself. So does tonka bean and, and cashmere wood and, and cinnamon and uh, tobacco as well as the citrus, which is a very interesting citrus because it's there for right from the start, yet it, it never pushes it itself to the foreground and it keeps on lingering in the back throughout the entire development of this particular fragrance. So it, it, it gives it a kind of, a, um, you know, kind of grown-up vibe. It's, 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 it's not for teenage boys necessarily. Um, I would say guys in there late 20s, 30s, 40s, like me, can wear this easily. Um, probably mostly formal occasions, although it's so comforting that actually, like I am doing it here now, just uh, looking at the, uh, at, the, at the football game and, and the TV, just on the couch and just smelling away. It's, it's, it's good, you know, as a compliment getter, obviously, because it smells very nice, but it's good as a fragrance that you just smell for yourself and on yourself in order to appreciate the fantastic work of blending that has been done by these two gentlemen that I have just mentioned. Um, so, 
I love the fact there is there is a, a big 100 ml bottle to this. I love the fact of the 30 ml because you can easily put this in your pocket. Why would you do that? Um, projection and silage are mild, moderate, mild. It's never pushing. It's never loud, and it's a good thing because if this would be pushing and loud, it would be too much. Uh, it's just very intelligently held back. This fragrance is being held back a little bit. The longevity is average or the toilet longevity, but you're happy to have a 30 mil in your pocket to be able to reapply anytime during the day or night. It's both day and night fragrance, nighttime fragrance. It's 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 um it is really nice, it's very versatile. As I said, it can be formal. At first sniff you would say, well, this is a formal fragrance, but now you it's probably it's not fitting an excursion in the in the forest or the greens or or uh, having a picnic somewhere outside. That's not the type of fragrance that this is. This is more an urban type of fragrance to me. This calls for a special environment, a nice flat, a, a good restaurant, you know, the streets of of a, of a large city, um, maybe the the the. The smell of, of people who go by, people jumping in the cab, and all sorts of, you know, visions and, and, and images of urban life that have some sort of grace and style about it, right? Uh, so I'm not necessarily talking outskirts with, uh, with some, um, you know, doubtful neighborhoods. This is more midtown type of fragrance, okay? This is an elegant fragrance, very sophisticated, intelligently ban blended and intelligently uh, uh, made. So Eigner Man 2 is, to me, an absolute winner, especially for this time of the year when outside it's, no, the weather is not the nicest. Uh, it's rainy, maybe snowy. It does not necessarily have to be Christmas time like now, but it enhances the overall Christmas mood for sure with its, with its slightly sweet, um, almost edible, uh, yet a bit tobacco-ish, citrus, woody uh, mood and, and, and composition, overall composition. So I think uh, it will be appreciated by yourself wearing it and by the others around you sniffing it on you. So I think it's a very, very good choice quite safe, I have to say. You don't take much of a risk with wearing this one because it really, it's not a crowd pleaser, I wouldn't say this, because it's not playing on the usual crowd pleaser uh, notes. You know, it's, it's, it's nothing, nothing like that going on in this fragrance. This is a totally standalone fragrance, which is modern, versatile, um, and, and very intelligently blended by, by those two gentlemen I've mentioned, Vargne and Mathieu. And uh, so Etienne Eigner, the House of Eigner has done, Etienne Eigner, obviously not himself, but uh, the House of Eigner has done a great job in 2007 releasing this. I'll be happy wearing this throughout uh, the entire Christmas season and beyond. I received this as a uh, gift from my wife for our third uh, anniversary of being together. Very nice, very nice. You know, my wife knows me, yeah. And my son, in the background, I think, uh, has been very patient, I have to say, has been very patient with me, um, watching, you know, football, you know, talking to my subscribers and friends, uh, introducing a new fragrance. I think he wants me now, desperately, right? So I think I'm gonna do a little bit of an afternoon play here, and, and he maybe he'll enjoy this fragrance on me as well. In a number of years, he will say, Pop, Daddy. I remember you wearing that great fragrance. Uh, you still have that? Maybe I can wear it myself. And if he does so, if he asks me, I will surely tell him that Eigner Man 2 is a great choice for a man or a boy, even a boy, who wants to be kind of special and, and enjoy the scent for himself and the others around him. Thank you very much for watching. That was Chris from Scentland. And yeah, come on, elevate yourself. Yes. Yeah, there he is. There you can see him. Yeah, so I'll, I'll go back and play, okay? Um, come on. Right? A little bit of maple tea.
very nice um, this part of the year and now I'm gonna play it. Take care. Ja, ja, ich komme ja schon. Mensch, Meier, das ist ja was, nicht? Max, sagst du noch was für die Kamera? Final comment, that was 